welcome back. So it's only a bit of beardy here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a bake with me and a get to know me because I thought that would be cute and my little brother is coming home tomorrow so I'm baking him a chocolate cake as a welcome home cake so not seen him in like 10 weeks so I'm pretty excited for that so yeah I thought why don't make it a bit more interesting and add some questions in there so I tried to pick some interesting questions or questions I get asked a lot so hopefully the things that you want to know we'll see anyway I pre uh, weighed all my ingredients out because that's a bath and I've also pre-lined my baking tin which to be honest I am oh I was gonna say I'm very proud of that because it looks good but I've just completely ruined it now yeah so let's get started so so I also picked this recipe because it literally had easy in the name and I am so bad at baking I'm so much better at cooking so I'm thinking I can't go wrong with this, hopefully, we'll see, anyway. Uh, in a bowl it says put caster sugar, glum, um, what's that? So, as a first question, what's my name and how old am I? So, my name's Amber. Uh, obviously, I go by Semi Fit Foodie on here and on Instagram. And I am 20 years old. So, yeah. Another egg. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Um, what sports did I do growing up? So, I did quite a lot of sports actually growing up. Um, I think I did ballet when I was like three to seven and then after that I did rhythmic gymnastics for a while in high school. What else did I do? I also did hockey, which I absolutely loved hockey. I'd, I'd love to do hockey again to be fair. I just, if I've not done it in so long, I couldn't really join a club because I'd be quite, oh wait, I might even, should I mix that? Oh, I need flour. Oh my God, why am I doing so badly? <gasps> Because <laughs> I literally couldn't mess this recipe up and <laughs> dropped a bowl in the mix. Uh, sports. So hockey, I did badminton for a while. I remember I did hurdles, I was quite good at them. I did despise long distance running though actually in um, high school because, I don't know, I used to just walk the minute mile with my friends and it was just a gossip session. I did a bit of netball. Um, yeah, what else? I didn't really do much in college. I sort of got out of exercising. But yeah, recently it's when it was more when I turned 17, I got my car and I could start driving to a gym that I sort of really started getting into exercise and really started to enjoy it. So yeah, that's the sort of sports and exercise that I did growing up. Uh, I'm not, I need to start reading this. I'm, I need to put cocoa powder in it. Stress. I actually don't get this stressed when I'm cooking a meal with loads of components. But bait, literally trying to put some stuff into a bowl, apparently, is beyond me. Coke powder, baking powder's next. Um, so the next thing I've got is what was my favourite subject in school? To be fair, I've always been one of the people that quite liked school. Um, quite like learning things, to be honest. Uh, but in college, I quite liked it because we could actually pick our own subjects. So I did business, studies, economics and ICT. I think if I was to pick a favourite out of all of them, it would probably be ICT though. Um, just because me and my friend had this like really fun, like healthy competition in it uh, with the like top marks in the class. That sounds so nerdy. But um, yes, yeah, so I actually really enjoyed that. So yeah, uh, this is one I get asked a lot actually in my DMs. So do I follow a training plan or a diet plan? I think this might be a little bit rambly, so I might end up cutting down a lot of what I say here. But the um, short answer is no, I don't follow any diet plan. I don't follow any 
training plan or regime. I don't have any goals for the gym. I don't count my calories. I don't do any of that macros. Yeah, that's not the meal I do is right. It's not something I'm interested in doing, it's not something, something that I'm going to start doing to be honest. I find training plans to be, I don't know, a little bit too regimented and I just don't really enjoy them. I prefer kind of to, when I go to the gym or when I work out, to do the stuff that I want to do and that I find fun and enjoyable. Um, when I've done plans in the past, I've just never managed to stick to them like I've got bored of them or I've not found them challenging enough or it's that sort of thing. Um, yeah, and then for a diet plan, yeah, I don't, I get asked a lot like, am I in a surplus? Am I in a deficit? Am I like trying to gain muscle? Am I trying to lose fat? Just do me, I think. I don't know. Jesus, like, oh my god. I think I just kind of go with what I feel like. I don't restrict anything. I don't, I do, the whole reason I started this account and started my Instagram was to do it all for like enjoyment and to spread enjoyment and show that, you know, you can eat the foods you want, like a chocolate cake and all the exercises you want and not feel the pressure and not feel that you're like, not good enough or anything like that it's it's not like about that for me it's about enjoying it it's about moving your body for fun moving your body to feel good and yeah i don't know what i'm saying basically this long round ball is that i don't want to count calories because i've done it in the past and it wasn't healthy and i'm just training with how my body feels and what i enjoy and it's working quite well for me. I mean, I'm happy and I'm doing my thing and I don't wanna change that and I'm not gonna change that anytime soon. I don't see myself changing that in the future, so yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't want to and I'm just doing me. I should have melted this butter. It looks disgusting. I'm gonna try to show you what this mixture looks like right now. Uh, God, this is literally not going to work. It's huge chunks of butter in there, which a bit great. I should have like, I thought I was meant. Mm. Oh, I've just read ahead as well. We meant to have two baking tins, but I don't own um, two cake tins. So I'm about to do that in two batches, which is a little bit of a pain, I guess. Blooming thing. Right, I'm mixing this. What's the next thing? What's my most embarrassing moment? Oh, uh, there's many, to be fair. I embarrass myself quite frequently. Um, Probably, if I was going to pick one, we used to get the bus every day to and from high school. Um, and there was a bus driver on our route that was, he was probably a bus driver like two to, every two to three days, so he was quite regular, we saw him a lot. Um, kind of like youngish, like whatever. Obviously, I was probably like 12, but like, not saying I'm just hitting a picture. So I was getting off the bus and my pump, so my grandpa had texted me and I was replying to him saying like, oh, I love you. And I'd always say thank you to the bus driver when we got off. So on this day, I texted my grandpa saying thank you and said, I love you to the bus driver. And he was literally just like, shook at this 12 year old girl, like professing her love to him and she, got off the stop in her village and I froze and didn't know what to do and it felt like an eternity. I was stood there staring at him, scared of what I just said. And, <laughs> and then I ran off the bus and I never saw him again. He was never our bus driver, so I think I scared him off. 
Okay. Should I put it in the microwave for a minute so I get the mustard to melt? But then I don't want the mixture to start, like the eggs to start cooking. I'm not going to risk that. I'm just going to keep going, I think. Okay, so the next one was what's my favourite food? My favourite food is a very difficult question. I have many a favourite foods and it's hard to pick just one because I feel like sometimes, you know, you want chocolate or like something savoury or like what do you want from me and we're like the list is endless like but if I had to pick like if it was like life or death and I had to pick it'd be sushi yeah I'm so excited for next like next for the first year of sushi after lockdown because I'm going all in literally like Supermarket, I've had one supermarket, like sushi packet, and they're good, but it's not the same as a yo sushi, you know. It doesn't quite hit the same, like. I really want to go to Japan one day, obviously when I can travel again, because I really want to try sushi over there, because I think that would just be so cool. My arms are going to be ripped after this. I'm going to have one ripped arm and one like limp one. Oh no, I've got fuzzy chocolate on this. Nightmare. Did I put the baking powder in? Did I? I think so, because the lid was slightly off. I'm going to say I did. Also, when I'm baking, I like to use a wooden spoon. I don't know why, but I just feel like when I bake with a wooden spoon, I just feel so much more authentic. I'm like, I seem like I know what I'm doing. Which I obviously don't, quite clearly. But I just feel like at least it gives it the impression that I have some sort of idea. Let's change it out. <laughs> Coordinated, no. I mean, it's coming together slowly, like very slowly, incredibly slowly. I'm missing 90 Day Fiance right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, I think I should probably answer another question since that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I just I'm a bit preoccupied. So the next one is, am I a student? Kind of. So I am a degree apprentice. So I work full time and then I also have a day release about two days every three months to go to university. And then I come away and have to write um, some assignments and submit them. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I love my job so much. I love the people I work with, they're all amazing. And it's definitely the best decision that I made for me was doing a degree apprenticeship rather than going down the traditional route of uni. Um, yeah, obviously, I think a lot of people sort of ask that, do you feel like you're missing out on like uni life and like night outs and stuff? And, not really, because I still have friends that go to university, so I can just kind of tag along with them, which is quite nice. So, yeah, it means I just get a degree at the same time as having a full-time job. This is sort of looking more cake battery, I guess. I feel like I'm so bad at multitasking as well because when I'm focusing on mixing, I'm not talking. I'm <laughs> like talking so slow. Or like, yeah, literally massive breaks. Ugh. Cute. Right, okay, you know what? It's not looking too bad. Like, sort of smooth as some. 
close to the sort of stillness. Mm. No, it doesn't look good to be fair. I think that's the best I'm going to get at it. Right, so I'm going to put half the mixture in here because I actually, you know what? Mm, I don't do it all. Let's see. Right, so I've kind of, I think it's about half. I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Oh god, I keep forgetting that face comes out. Right. Right, so that's just in the oven and I'll see you in 20 minutes. See if it's rising, please. Be rising. Oh, you know what? Not bad. Oh. So I think what I'm going to do is I've got my cooling rack here. So I'm going to take it out of this and leave it to cool. And then I'm going to put the other half in them here. Yeah. And then put that in the oven and I'll be back when that's all over. I just realised I didn't even check this one with a knife, I just got it out, so... I hope this is okay with this, I've literally just done the thing for the other. It's okay. Please work, oh my god. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of a nightmare. The first cake still isn't cooked, and it's already half eight. I need to clean down here, cook the second cake for another 20 minutes, go watch the 90 Day Fiancé and eat some sultanas. And yeah, so what I'm gonna say is, I'll see you tomorrow morning when I'm making the buttercream. Hi, good morning. So it's the next day, as you can probably tell. Uh, last night, I had a mare with the cakes. They just weren't cooking through. And I kept having to put them back in. So either they're still gooey in the middle or they are super dry because I kept putting them back in. I guess we'll wait and see when I try it. So what I need to do now is I need to make the buttercream to decorate the cake. Literally just combine this all in a bowl and then I'll decorate the cake. So yeah. Uh, so I'll get on with some of the questions as well. So the next question is, what was my last big spend? So my last big spend was just before, literally probably the week before this all happened, so lockdown happened. I bought myself a brand new car, a Kia Stonic, and it's now sat on the drive. It's been washed more times than it's been driven, which is a bit crazy but yeah so it's quite sad because I've literally sat on the drive and I can't even go, even go out in it um, but yeah so hopefully when lockdown's over I'll be planning a few trips to see my friends around so I'll get a fair few miles in that way and a few shopping trips and everything right so it says just to combine these two together I used to absolutely love buttercream when I was little Whenever I used to make a cake, I'd make buttercream and then I would purposely like leave a little bit of buttercream in the bowl after we'd uh, finished making it so that I could like lick the bowl. It was kind of grim, but <laughs> I thought it was like the nicest thing ever. Oh, do I it's spilling everywhere? I should have got a bigger bowl. So I don't know why the cakes weren't cooking last night because I preheated the oven for like ages and Put them in for like the time and everything so it wasn't like the oven wasn't hot enough or they like weren't in right i don't know this is why i don't bake this is why i prefer cooking because baking never works out for me i like eating cake i just don't like making cake i think i've figured that out through this process it's also given me a lot more respect for the people that are on bake off because i always watched bake off and like oh i can't believe they've sunk their cake where well, they've got a soggy bottom and then and I make a chocolate cake that literally has easy in me I'm struggling 
So I apologise to all the Bake Off contestants that I have mocked in the past. This is very lumpy. I also don't have very long because I've got to go leave to pick up my brother at 10 o'clock and it's already 9 o'clock now. It's a four hour drive there and then a four hour drive back so it'd be kind of good to get out though. Like go somewhere a bit different even though it's like not even going to be getting out of the car. It's a change of scenery and that's what I need. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Just I literally think I just shut up that movie sound weird. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Five tablespoons of coke powder is the mixture, so I'll do that now. Also, the next question is, is my jewellery sentimental? So yes, my, all my jewellery sentimental. The necklace I wear, uh, it's one that my mum and dad bought me when I turned 18. And I literally wear it like every day, I absolutely love it, it's so pretty. Uh, my rings, so I'll see if I show you my rings, I'll just spin around a little bit. So yeah, uh, the top one is my great, great, great grandma's engagement ring and the bottom one used to belong to my mum, so she passed that down to me. And then the bracelets, uh, one's a feather and one is an angel and they're both little symbols to, like, for my grandpa. Um, so yeah. Quite cute there. Right, I'll just combine this coke powder into the buttercream. Oh, it's like poofing everywhere. Try this all so tasty. So yeah, that coke powder is now combined in, so what next? Um, so pouring the melted chocolate. And then two tablespoons of milk. There's a pinch of salt as well. Cool. So yeah, I'll just mix all this up and then get back to you when I'm ready to ice the cakes. Okay, so this is all combined now. So I'm going to start putting it in the cakes and do like a sandwich layer. So a bit in the middle and then a bit on top. And hopefully it looks a bit pretty. So yeah, um, another question is, what advice would I give my younger self? So, I think if I was to give my younger self advice, I'd probably say, don't worry as much, like just kind of what will be, it will be, and everything happens for a reason sort of thing. So I was always knowing people that like, worry about everything and how things would turn out and all that. And I mean, it's turned out all right, I'm doing good. So yeah, I think just, Kind of worry a little bit less and just chill out. Well, this is actually looking quite cute to be fair. Okay, that's bottom layer done. So just pop this one on top. Oh, that's quite cute. What do you think? All right, so I'll pop the ice on top and I think oh, I'm spilling out a little bit there. What do you think? Oh no. Do you know what? It's sort of cute, it's sort of fallen, but it was a good attempt, I'd say. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the cutest it's looking, but we roll. Uh, I've got these Hotel Chocolate Caramel Bunnies, so I'm gonna pop these on top and try salvage it somehow. Think. Oh, that's the one. That's really nice. Yeah. It's totally normal, though. Oh. I don't think you are. I think you're only like, what have you done? That looks awful. Yeah. It'll taste good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we need to go now. Um, but I will see you when I come to try this. 
and let's hope it actually tastes a lot better than it looks. Hey, so I'm just about to have my lunch. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be my lunch today, chocolate cake, because we had a brunch a bit like late on in the morning because you know it's all about balance and enjoying the food and because my obviously my little brother's back so we're having like all the stuff he sort of likes a little bit of clotted cream and also my milky brew so yeah let's see what it actually tastes like then You know what? I'm actually super impressed with myself. I mean, it did only be easy in the title, so I shouldn't be that impressed with myself. That's so nice. So yeah, it's probably pretty boring for you just watching me eat chocolate cake. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed sort of getting to know me a bit more and attempting to bake this chocolate cake, then please leave a like and subscribe um, and yeah, follow me on Instagram. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.